left-hander Carlos Rodon, 14-9 with a 4.19 ERA. Let's do it here in the Bronx. First pitch, chop to third, Chisholm. And not in time. As Rizzo tried to come up with the scoop, but could not. As Witt goes down looking. Runner goes, swung on a miss. The throw gets past Torres and into center field. Pham gets up, he's gonna hustle over to third and make it. And that one is lined in the center field. That's gonna be a base hit in front of Dominguez. Pham will score an RBI single for Perez and it's one nothing Royals. Swing and a miss, got him. Runners will go, payoff. Swing and a miss, got him. 96 miles an hour, three strikeouts for Rodon. One run for the Royals. Swing and a miss. Five strikeouts in two innings for Rodon. A little bit of a surprise today. Media led into the uh, Yankee clubhouse, as they are, at a certain time. And there was Jason Dominguez's locker. Grounded to first. One away. That one is crushed to left center field. That ball is gone. Against the back wall of the Royals bullpen. 2-0 Kansas City. Here's the Martian. Grounded and through for a base hit. Jason Dominguez with his first major league hit of 2024. Perez, good catcher, a little bit above average throwing as far as percentage wise. Now I see another nice play against Rizzo as Dominguez moves to second. Dominguez goes from second to throw to third, and it gets by Garcia. Dominguez will get up, and he'll go home. And the Yankees get a run. And a walk to Cabrera, and it's 2-1 Royal. So the speed of Dominguez caused a run. You know, why would you steal third base with two outs? Well, this is why, because they can make mistakes. I don't know that I've seen more times Third baseman's not blocking the ball and allowing runners to score. High drive, right field, there it goes! See ya! A two-run home run for Verdugo, and the Yankees lead 3-2. to two. Here's Perez, homer's last time up. Swings at the first pitch and pops it up sky high, right side. Labor Torres can't make the play. Here comes Witt, here's the throw. Tie game, 3-3. Three, three. You know, if you're Juan Soto, you, you've got to realize sometimes that it, it, it's an easier play coming in. Uh, you just, uh, Glaber had to go sideways too far. Look where he's playing. As soon as this ball is up in the air, I think if you want Soto, you have to realize I've got to get to this ball. And right then, he had overrun the ball. No chance. One, two. Strike three. Grossman down looking. First game of this three game set. That one is drilled to left field. Verdugo turns. Look, see ya. 4 3, Kansas City. The 0-2, swing and a miss. That's the ninth strikeout for Rodon, but the home run by Renfro gives the Royals a 4-3 lead. And they'll go to the bullpen. Jake Cousins comes on. Snap throw to first. Got him, picked him off. Quick move for the right-hander, picks off his belt. Swing and a miss, got him. The 0-2, swing and a miss. There's the slider. Grounded up the middle, and a diving stop by Witt. Gets to his feet, fires, not in time. And he walked him. First and second, one man out, that brings up Judge. Grounded through for a base hit. Torres rounds third, they're waving him home. No throw, it's a tie game. Judge with the RBI single.
Let's go. Swing and a miss. Got him. Weaver bounces off the mound, getting the big strikeout to end the threat. No runs a hit. And two men left. Blew it right by him for the final out of the inning. And Weaver is pumped. <laughs> you know, you never know how a guy's going to feel when he gets to the ballpark, so. That was a double for Oswaldo Cabrera. Ground ball through for a base hit. Cabrera will hold it third. Second hit for Verdugo. First and third. Nobody out top of the order for the Yanks. Line drive. It's a base hit to center field. Scoring is Cabrera. Moving to second, Verdugo. An RBI single for Glaber. His third hit, and the Yankees lead 8-4. 2-1 count on the Yankee captain. Grounded to short. There's one. And the stretch. At first by Renfro. And the double play is completed. So a run will score. As that will make it 9-4. No RBI for Judge. And moving to third is Volpe. Driven out to left field and deep. And that is going to be off the wall over the head of Melendez. A run will score. It's another extra base hit, another RBI for Wells. And the Yankees lead 10-4. Ian Hamilton is back off the I.L. This will be his 27th game. He's got good stuff. He's one of the candidates. That should be able to close some games. This is not a closing situation. The Yankees have a six-run lead, but the Yankees want to get him on the mound. You had it last time out in Texas. That was kind of the meltdown, and then tonight. Fly ball right field. Coming on Soto. And the Yankees win 10-4. Big night for Austin Wells. And with the Orioles losing to the Red Sox, Yankees now have a game and a half lead in the American League East.